Well, everyone who picks up the Shining Girls absolutely loves it. Now, I know we heard um, last year that Leonardo DiCaprio purchased the rights yes. to make it a film. Has there been any new developments on that front? They were talking to some very exciting directors, mm -hmm. um, but you know, it's Can a movie. Can you tell us who? No. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I, I've been sworn to secrecy. I absolutely cannot. Um, but, but people I'm very excited about who, you know, mm -hmm. it's not Michael Bay, let's say. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Yes. <laughs> Um, you know, they're, they're really smart, interesting, capable, exciting, dynamic directors who totally would get it. So That's awesome. Um, we'll see what happens. You know, the, the film industry, it takes, it takes 10 years to make a movie, yeah. and most movies don't get made. You know, you get the option fee, it's some money mm -hmm. in the bank, and, you know, you move on. Now, I, I really hope The Shining Girls gets made, because yeah. to see that on the big screen is just going to be something else. Um, I'm going to say, when it gets to that <laughs> stage... Is it going to be hard for you? I mean, do you know how much creative control you're going to have? Are you going to have any? You don't have creative control. You okay. have a creative say. Okay. Um, you know, I'm on board. My contract says I'm uh, an executive producer and okay. that I'm a script consultant. Okay. Um, realistically, what that means is um, it depends on the director. You know, if mm -hmm. the director has a very singular vision and doesn't want any, you know, anyone interfering with that, they might say, okay, thanks, I've got your notes, now go sit in the corner and shut your mouth. Um, or it might mean that you're very involved. It, it, it really depends. You know, it's such, film is such a collaborative industry mm -hmm. um, that it really depends on the personalities of the people involved. Um, but, you know, I specifically chose the production company not just because it's Leonardo DiCaprio, yeah. um, but because I really believe that they understand the book and will make the best possible you know, movie or TV series out of it and that they, that they really understand the material. Well, that's very important. Um, now, is there any part in the book you will be absolutely devastated by if they cut it? You know, I think um, my, one of my favorite characters is Zora, who is the African-American welder working mm -hmm. in uh, Seneca in 1948. Yeah. And it was such a, she's such a great she, character and such, such a, a powerful, woman. yeah, such a powerful moment mm -hmm. that I'd be really devastated. But, you know, I think you have to make allowances for film. It's a different translation. Yeah. And what would really kill me is if they just flipped what I've done and turned it into a straight serial killer story. You know, if they made it all about him and not about the victims and, and the murders, that, that, that would hurt me a lot. Yeah. Um, well, but anything else, you know, it's creative license. If you're making it better, then I'm really happy, you know, for you to make changes. Well, it sounds like the production company understands the book, so hopefully they don't go that route. No, well, they're not going to hire Michael Bay and turn it into, no. you know, <laughs> Bill and Ted's excellent killing spree. And, yeah, <laughs> you know, have some Transformers there. I see Transformers, <laughs> totally, definitely. Shining girls mean that they're shiny girls because they're robots. <laughs> <laughs> that would just be something else. Uh, I don't know. That sounds quite fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe an idea for, for a, totally. a spin-off. <laughs> yes. Mm. And, yeah, I don't know.